Hello, welcome back. Today I'll teach you how to crochet these beautiful headbands. I do these in different sizes. This one is eight and a half centimeters wide and the other one a bit smaller of seven centimeters. I also have a super wide one of 11 centimeters. That's pretty wide. I love them all, to be honest. We crochet from one side <laughs> from the end to the other end and finally we put them together and sew them up in the middle so you just continue crocheting until it fits around your head and then you stop so you can customize you can do this for both adults and kids you can use the small one for kids and then just make it shorter you decide it's extremely easy i will show you very slowly every step of the way so you can follow even if you're a beginner I will show you from the start to the finish. All you have to do is follow this tutorial. So let's begin. For the materials, I have used this medium weight 4 yarn and this is 100% acrylic. And I have used this kind of yarn for all three types of headband. I will leave a link in the description where you can find all the materials. I have used a 4mm crochet hook, some scissors and then a tapestry needle. We begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we create a chain. So we yarn over and pull through. Yarn over pull through, yarn over, pull through. This is the foundation chain and we will chain 27 chains for this wide version of the headband. So do 27 chains and when you got that we will do a row of single crochet. So skip your first chain, move on to the second chain and insert your hook. Then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Another single crochet in the next chain, this one. Insert your hook, do a single crochet. Continue with one single crochet in every stitch all the way across. We chained up 27 and we skipped the first one, so we'll end up with 26 stitches when you're all the way. And this is what it looks like. Then we'll turn the row. First we chain one. Then turn. And now we'll do back loop single crochet. So you'll still skip the first one like we always do when we single crochet. Then we move on to the second one and do a single crochet, but only through the back loop of the stitch. So you have the front loop and the back loop back here. You insert your hook through the back loop only and do a single crochet. That's one. Through the back loop of your next stitch and single crochet. That's two. Another one. Three. We will do 12 back loop single crochet for this second row. So that's three, four, and 12. Now we skip the next two stitches, so this one and this one, you skip and move on to the third, this one over here, and do a single crochet in the back loop only. So skip these two and insert your hook through the third stitch, pull it a bit together and do a single crochet. Then continue for the rest of the row with one back loop single crochet in every stitch. So that's 12 
back loop single crochet. When you reach your final stitch, you do a regular back loop single crochet in this one. And then you insert your hook through the same stitch where you just did the single crochet and do another single crochet through the same back loop. Then we turn by doing one chain, turn the work, skip this chain you just did, move on to the second and do a back loop single crochet into this one. And then through the same back loop, do another single crochet. So two back loops, single crochet in the same stitch. And continue. With the next one, a back loop single crochet. So now you did two back loop single crochet in the first one, and then one, that's three. Continue with one back loop single crochet in every stitch for 12 stitches in total. So remember the first one counted as two, three, four, five, do 12. And when you have 12, you skip the next two stitches. Just need to do one more. That's 12. Then we skip the middle two stitches again. Move on to the first one over here after these two. Insert your hook through the back loop. Do a single crochet. And then one back loop single crochet in every stitch all the way across. And again, when you make it to the end, you do two back loop single crochet through the final stitch. So that's one, and then another one in the same stitch. Then chain one, turn the work, skip the first one, and do two single crochet in the back loop of your second stitch. And then continue with one back loop single crochet all the way to the middle. And in the middle, you skip these two and you can see it will create this point. Continue like that, back and forth. Remember, two single crochet in the same stitch, then turn the work, then two single crochet in the first stitch, skip the two in the middle and back and forth until it reaches around your head. I continued until my headband measures 48 centimeters ish. My head measures 53 centimeters, but this pattern stretches a lot and I think it's nicer if the headband sits tight around the head. So now we'll cut the yarn, so grab your scissors. Leave a bit of a tail and then cut it and pull your hook through the loop like this. Find your tapestry needle and I will now sew the ends together. You can also crochet them together with a simple sl slip stitch, but just put them on top of each other. And do like this and now you can make a seam all the way down here so make the ends meet and make sure the edge is straight and then sew the headband together doesn't matter what stitch you use for this you can decide all by yourself. So 
So just continue all the way to the middle and then all the way up on the other side. When I'm all the way across, I'll now fasten the yarn. I will keep this as my inside of the headband. So I will just secure the yarn on the, this back side. That's it. Then cut the yarn. And you have a headband. I will fold it over. So I have this as my outside. And that's it. I hope you find the tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up. And you're always welcome to follow my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!